works very well in small mm. settings. So now at gigs below 100 people or something, that is more acoustic driven, I would only, always prefer to play that because then your ears are open, you're not too loud, you get a really easy jam together. Mm. So, so maybe go from, uh, from Cajon, go to that and if that's really working and the church is building and you have a good bass player or whatever, and then you can go into drumming. Um, so that's just my advice, you know, every, everybody is different, but, uh, um, did you so yeah. Did you study drums when you were studying music, or did you... Yes, I studied drums, okay. and percussion I, I learned on the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think the cool thing about percussion is that every drum uh, represents a country, mm. sort of, sort of. Culture, yeah. Or culture, or a uh, uh, world part. So, um... You know, we have the congas from uh, Latin America, of course, or Cuba, or um, we have the djembe's from Africa. This is a uh, bubarabu, that's a uh, drum from Senegal. It's it's more melodic than a dr than a djembe, and it's cow skin as well, so it has more doo -doo -doo, more like a mixture between djembe and a conga. I would say. Yeah. But I don't know if, that, if that's correct. Uh, we have congas, of course, uh, bongos, drum kits. Uh, this is a uh, a doombeck, more eastern sound. So with with every drum you can, uh, if you have a different set in the church with different uh, songs, and there is like uh, one western song, one more African song, you can choose with your instruments. You can already uh, uh, specify the sound. So this is like so this is more like um, like that. Um, more questions about knowledge before we start playing about uh, tips like uh, the church always says the drums is too loud or when we practice. Uh, uh, what I do here is I I, I just put a. A piece of uh, like ten kind of papers on on the snare, just to because when we are practicing here all day on Tuesday, if I would play with sticks all day, we would all have uh, ear damage, and you don't want to have ear plugs in the whole day because you want to be you want yeah. to be creative, you want to listen to each other. Mm. So I would uh, hold, put a bit uh, and put with. Uh, uh, la Can you take the paper off and show how it's different? Uh, yeah. It has this fat sound that makes it poppy and... Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't really get <laughs> stuff on. <laughs> this paper. So you heard me play like, like that. And when I do this, I, I would play normally. That would be... You know, you know what I mean? And it's not, it's not hard <laughs> for me either, because I only hear myself, and uh, so I enjoy it more like this. <clears throat> it's always about enjoyment, I would say. The music part. Over, yeah. huh? I also put some towel over it. Yeah, towel yeah. can work. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's even more radical than this, I would say. Yeah. This. Um, yeah, it has a nice, uh, in the studio I sometimes use it as well, when mm -hmm. I don't have a very low snare. So when you have the, have the big sound, I just put a piece of paper and I have the, you have a nice uh, sound. <coughs> so a lot of Trinity songs are based around...
get to do it. <laughs> One chance. <laughs> One chance. Yeah. This time you need to move on. Thank you. 
was great. <laughs> <laughs>